In this lesson, we'll take a look at one of the ways we can paint the eyes for a character, and then also we'll take a look at using Spotlight to paint the base. So this is a Z project, and this is 33 Begin, but you can use um, your models and bring those in uh, wherever you have those saved. But the first thing we're going to do is focus on the character's eye. So I'm just going to select the eye subtool, and I want to add a, more of a shiny material. So I'm going to go over to this toy plastic, and let's get kind of an off-white Let's go to MRGB and let's just fill that eye. Okay, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to actually set my material to the skin shade. And then we'll focus here just on the eye. So the first thing we'll do is I want to kind of paint out the, the iris and then also the pupil. So this that part of the eye. And one way to do that is simply to, to add the colored part of the eye. And we'll use some strokes or some alphas rather. Um, to vary that up and create those striations and then add the pupil over the top. So whatever color you want your eye to be, kind of select uh, a color like that. If you wanted it to be kind of green or blue, you could do that. I'm going to go and grab a drag rectangle stroke. And for the alpha, let's choose this alpha 14. So just this sort of circle shape. Go to RGB. And if you want to dial down the intensity, you can do that. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility here. I'm just going to kind of come in the center and drag out the iris. So it looks like something like that is probably going to work. So I'll come in and just darken it up a little bit. If you set your intensity up a little bit higher, then you'll have the opportunity to, to do that more in one stroke. But I want to add a little bit of variation there. Now I want to get the sort of stripes on that. And so let's go in and change our alpha to this alpha 34. And then I'm going to just go in and start to change these colors around a little bit. And I'll increase the RGB intensity. And then we can start to drag this out. And I just want to drag it out to the edge there. Let's get something maybe a little bit lighter. Okay. Maybe brighten it up into a little bit more of like the green. And just create a little bit more variation. Maybe we want to get a little bit more like blue. Kind of over the top of that. Let's get kind of a darker color to go with that. Something like that. You can also change up to your alpha 11 to get a little bit more variation. Maybe don't not don't go all the way to the edge. Okay, we can also make this sort of dark ring around it by changing our alpha to alpha 9. And let's just do black with a low intensity. Try to start kind of in the middle here. And we'll kind of darken up that rim a bit. And then we want to get the, the pupil on there. So we'll use black. We'll use the alpha 14. And I'm going to set this RGB intensity all the way up. And we'll add our pupil in there. So it's kind of a quick way to add an eye. You can also go in and, and um, manually draw those striations. Another thing we can do is to add some really subtle veins on the eyes. And to do that, we can use this alpha 22 Let's get a red color and let's dial the RGB intensity way down. And then if I come in here, you can kind of see we can draw out those veins on the edges. And I don't want it to look bloodshot, but adding these in will give you a little bit more of a realistic look to the eye. Okay. So play around with that a little bit and uh, whatever color that you want. And so the next thing that I want to do is go in and grab the base here and show you how to use Spotlight. So I'm going to take this back to a white color. This is the, the watch. So I'm going to come down to the base. And I've gone ahead and just separated out that nano mesh for the, the gears. You can do that by going to nano mesh, come down to inventory and one to mesh. We would like to save that out. Then you can split it off. All right, so let's take this base, and I want to subdivide it enough so that we have the resolution 
to be able to hold the texture map. So we'll all subdivide it a few times. We'll go to the top view. Let's change our stroke back to freehand. We'll take our alpha off. Let's go to lightbox and go to texture. I'm going to scroll over and grab a wooden uh, texture. So there's lots of different images in here that you can pick from. So I'm going to slide over. You can see there's wood patterns there. There's some wood right there that's really cool. So let's come in and pick one uh, that we want to use. I think I want to use maybe this wood too. So I'll just double click on it. You can see it loads it up into our texture slot. We'll close Lightbox, go to Texture. And with this image selected, we want to add it to Spotlight. It's this button right here. So we'll add that to Spotlight. And you can see it comes up over the top, and then there's this little manipulator here. If I click and drag inside of this ring or out here, you can see I can move that image around. So what we're doing is projecting it down on top of the uh, on top of our geometry. We can come in here on the ring and we can, for instance, scale it up. We could come in and rotate it around by clicking on these little icons. We can change the spotlight radius, which is what we're actually the the area that we're going to see of it as we're painting. If we click inside here, we can just move this around. Okay, so when we're ready to start painting, and we'll, we'll position it. You know, wherever we want it, just like that. And then we're going to hit the Z key. And now, let's take our RGB intensity all the way up. Now we can come in and paint on this. Now one thing I do want to do before that is I want to, to only paint on a specific uh, poly group. Okay? And so one of the ways that we can do this is go into Brush. We're using our standard brush. Let's go to Auto Masking. And there's a Mask by Poly Groups. And so if I turn that all the way up, the first poly group that we paint on is the only one that's going to be able to receive any paint. So let's go back in, hit Z, and I'm just going to go in and paint across here. Now I've got a very small brush size, so let me increase my brush size a bit. I can come in here, and you can see even though I'm painting outside of this, it's only affecting that top plane because that's one poly group. Okay. Now you can see here, I shut this off, I'm getting a little bit of deformation there. Let's subdivide this one more time. And let's repaint it. So again, Shift Z. And I'll just position it wherever I want. And now let's come in and start to paint over this. So that gives you a little bit of a higher resolution look because you just have more polygons to work with. And then Shift Z will turn that spotlight off for you. Okay, just like that. So you can load your own textures if you just import those, import them in here. You can add them to Spotlight, and you can have multiple textures um, added to your Spotlight. So we could come in and add that one and that one, and then you have this whole library uh, that you're working from. You can grab this one and then you can pull this one over and then when you're you know want to put them back in place you can hit this little button here that'll kind of tile them over to the side so spotlight's a really powerful way of doing projection painting in zbrush so the next thing we'll do is take a look at posing characters so there's a couple different ways we can do that we'll look at that next